Today we are going to play a little bit with liquid drops, enamel dots, liquid pearls, um, enamel accents, nuvo crystal drops, stone drops, whatever you want to call them. Um, enamel dots in South Africa are just so expensive. Um, and we all have product that we can use to make our own enamel dots, enamel accents, glitter dots, whatever you want to call them. Um, but I get a lot of requests from people who say that, oh, I cannot make the perfect dot. Um, there is no such a thing as a perfect dot made by imperfect human hands, but there are good ones, better ones, the best ones, and then just a few duds, okay, which is also part of life. So don't be too distressed. So I've got a basket here full of products. I went scrounging so that I pretty much have something of everything maybe over the last 12 years. Um, a lot of ladies will have, or scrappers, will have a lot of old liquid pearls. That was the logo. Um, then a couple of years ago, four or five or six years ago, the Nuvo crystal drops came out. Um, this was the new liquid pearl logo. And you have more crystal drops. Um, there, there's stone drops. And then there were different kinds of brands. So this was the, I think, the Couture Creations one that came out. I did a video a couple of years ago using this with some Ranger enamel dots. Um, I don't particularly like those a lot. So I think I only have two colors and I cannot find them now. So let's quickly look at what these things are basically. Um, it's a dimensional adhesive. Okay, um, that has a pigment inside that gives it the color. And depending on the shine or the shimmer will depend whether it has mica, which gives the shine, or whether it just has, um, I think this one doesn't really have a shine. It's just a glossy adhesive, so it will look like a shiny thing, but it doesn't have a metallic sheen. Okay, and then of course we have stuff like glossy accents that helps you make um, see-through enamel dots, so clear enamel dots. So to start off, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to show you how I apply my drops. So you can see that I'm simply holding it at a slight angle. There's a big one okay um, and the liquid pearls that have the new logo there might even be a new word logo will um, self level it says but if you look at that we are very impatient so we tend to want it to level immediately now what can you do to help this along a little bit you can give it a gentle tap I'm going to give it a hard tap can you see what happens there? So then they will flatten out quite considerably. The best advice is to just leave them. Okay. Um, here we've got some Nuvo crystal drops. You can make little baby ones. But it gets harder to make baby ones um, because you've got that little tail. Okay. But there's another big one. So I'm just going to make a couple of colors here. This one is the Couture Creations liquid drops one. And um, in the video that I will find and share, or you can go look for it, I show you how you can actually sprinkle this with glitter. The possibilities are absolutely endless. This is the stone drop, and um, it has a bigger nozzle. And you can also see that it has texture close up. I don't know if you can see that. Um, the Nuvo drop ones really level nicely. If I have to say, they're probably my favorite brand at the moment, um, but my best favorite brand is making my own, which I'm going to show you guys just now. Okay, so there's, and then of course you have to maintain your product, because if I've made a blob now, and there's lots of stuff sitting outside, it's going to dry rock hard, and next time I use it, it'll be clogged. So always just wipe this, um, I've got an old cloth always close by. And um, or you can keep a pin and just make sure that before you close and seal it for months because I know how we scrap um, <laughs> that it is actually unclogged so this is an older one but you can see it also makes a beautiful big round blob there's a little blob little blob little blob little blob little blob okay um, you can of course trim like this one 
I accidentally, when I tried to clean it a while ago, I pushed my knee, my, my pin through, and I had to cut the nozzle off a little bit. Um, so this does affect the performance, I think, because the nozzle is now so close to where my hand is. Um, but once again, you can see pretty pearls coming out. Um, I've ooh, thought maybe my standards are just low <laughs> because it, it doesn't bother me if it's not all that perfect. Now this one, I can see there's something sitting there that is irritating my... Oh, there, I've got it. It was just a little fluff from the last time I used it. This is also an old one, but let me make a big one because I want to prove a point. And um, this is Glossy Accents. We're going to do a clear one. The beauty with Glossy Accents, and we'll do a bunch here. Just remember that Glossy Accents will level really quickly, and it's much harder to make an absolutely perfect round dot. But with Glossy Accents, as with all of these, you can leave it clear, or you can sprinkle it with glitter. You can sprinkle all of them with glitter, but I'm not going to do that, okay? Because... Um, I want to show you something else. So you can see how those dots are really leveling out. But the older ones, here's where you get those little peaks. I hope you can see the peaks. Okay, so just give it a tap. We're going to get glitter all over now. It wasn't very clever, could you know? Um, but that's real life. So let me quickly shake the glitter off. Okay. Um, you can see how that one has now run. All of them, they've lost a little bit of shape. But I can manipulate them. Okay, so you can tap, tap, tap them gently and you can see how they are flattening. That's actually quite an interesting shape that that little blue one um, turned into now. But I'm just going to make a new one. Because remember in real life you're not going to be doing a hundred on one sheet. You will be making one, two, three, four. And I actually really like doing it on my project. See there. So I'm tapping it lightly. And that blue one is just flattening, okay? Which is really, really the way to go. Um, you will get absolutely perfect dots. It is a little addictive. Um, I've seen some people, what they do is they actually do it on a piece of plastic. Look, can you see how they're flattening out? So obviously the bigger blob you make, the bigger your enamel dot will be, quote unquote. Okay, so tapping, tapping, tapping. This one is really nice and thick, the blue. It's also one of the newer um, releases. There we go. So you can see that that will still continue to level a little bit. Um, the Nuvo drops, if you want to make a big enamel accent or enamel dot, there we go. And um, you can see, you can just tap, tap, tap it. Now, to make your own enamel dots, um, what I do is I decant some glossy accents. It, it really is the best product to use into one of these fine tip applicators. And then I use a colored pigment. Um, this is Finnebar's Mica. It comes in sets. But you can also buy um, loose micro or loose little jars at some places. And I will put some of this mica powder into my little glossy accent um, fine tip applicator. Now, the thing to remember here is that this is like baking. Okay, so the glossy accent that would be the wet ingredient, and the um, the mica powder would be your dry ingredient. And you're going to shake it up. Oh, and look at that. So obviously the powder is still sitting at the bottom. But look at that two-tone. And there the color comes through. Best is to give it a little while so that it can mix properly. And obviously the more of the powder you put in, the more saturated your color will be. Okay, we did this in the Kit Club in December. And um, they really make beautiful dots when you use this method. So there we go. I hope this helped someone. Um, there's a lot you can do with these products, not just make dots. I um, have done many classes over the years. There we go. Now you can see how it's really, really the colors coming through.
So you can see that this makes beautiful dots. And I'll just show a screenshot when it's dry at the end of the video. I um, hope this helped someone and maybe I should make a couple more videos with techniques on these products. But can you see the glossy accent one is really nice, the homemade one. And then obviously you have to choose. Um, you know that I tapped the glitter off in that one. But look, those really keep their shape, um, except for the hard hand at the bottom. And that's it. Gotta love it.